Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just sat in the vegetable garden. Today's another episode of Miniature Railway Britain. And the Miniature Railway we're going to is in a village which never had a standard gauge railway, had a form of railway, we'll get onto that in a minute. It's possibly best known for its rather unusual houses in the rocks. The village I'm talking about is Kinver in the West Midlands or in Staffordshire. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a quick look at the houses in the rocks and then we're gonna make our way down to the village to have a look at the Miniature Railway. So we come to here and there's this rather extraordinary view of these houses here, just in the rocks. You can see that's a rock. There's various levels, there's some more up there. It's very busy up the top, so I'm not gonna go up there. But I thought we'll do, we'll just walk through one of them just so we can say we've seen the rock houses. So, see that there? Just looks like normal front of a house, except it's not a building. It's, well, it's a building, but it's a rock. Um, so basically people lived inside here, just in the rocks. It's quite, really quite fascinating. As you can see, there's no sort of level ceilings or anything. It's all here in the rocks. There's a, a corridor going down here. And here we are, this is where they would have lived. So you can see there's, there's a bedroom there, bed there, there's the laundry hanging up over there. So this this is a one of the rock houses at Kinver. I say there's these rather interesting corridors. Look how thick these walls are. Uh, I think they're eventually condemned in the 1950s for effectively being slums, but they really are quite fascinating, which you can now come up here today and visit them. So we're going to leave this one behind. we we'll come out the back of the rock. We're outside again. There's another rock house just up here. So it's almost like a sort of cluster of various different rock houses. And then there have been some more at the top. The ones at the top haven't been restored. So there you are. That's another rock house. But as I said, the purpose of coming here today is for a miniature railway Britain video. I just thought we couldn't come to Kinver and um, not show you a bit of the rock houses. It's a really fascinating unique site. I'm going to go into this. Oh, look at that. It's just funny. There's like a window in the side of the rocks. Um, we're just going to go to this corner here and uh, I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Right, so down there is the village of Kimber. Over there. Yes, yeah, so the camera's doing that annoying thing when it's really sunny. It basically disappears. Anyway, out that way is the village of Kinver. There never was a standard gauge railway to Kinver. The only railway that ever went to Kinver was a tramway. It ran from Stourbridge. It was three foot six inches, so that's what's effectively known as the Cape gauge, the gauge which they used in South Africa. But they had quite a few tramways in Britain were of that gauge. There's another little sort of hole here in the rocks. So, so Kinver never had a railway. It had a tramway. I think it opened in 1901, closed in 1930, about four miles long. Ran from Kinver to Stourbridge. Be great now with the West Midlands Metro slowly expanding. They've just got to Wolverhampton now. Not done that yet. Maybe one day there'll be a West Midlands Metro line to Kinver, but I shouldn't get too excited. So there's never been a railway in Kinver. Can't blame Beeching for Kinver not having a railway. But as I said, there is a railway. What's this? Oh, there's a toilet. A toilet in a bucket in a rock. Um, yeah, so there, there is a railway, and it's the Kinver Miniature Railway run by the Kinver and West Midlands District Model Engineering Society. So I've got to find my way down, walk through the village. Let's go and find this miniature railway down there somewhere. We've now come down the hill. I've just walked through the village centre, and we're just heading up towards this miniature railway. I think it's at like a leisure centre and recreation ground all those kind of yeah leisure activities of course miniature railways are a form of leisure activity i have been to this railway before i last visited about 10 years ago so i wonder if it'll be as i remember it i mentioned that how there used to be a tramway which ran from here to stourbridge that's long gone but what does still run between here and stourbridge is the river stour that's river stour down there which the railway is situated on the banks of. So we're walking into here now, I'm just coming into the railway's car park and if you look across the cars over there, over there is the station footbridge which we shall see in a moment. We're going to go over the footbridge and then we'll go and have our ride on the train. It's always exciting when you come to a miniature railway, especially one that's run by model engineers because you never quite know what's going to be running. So it's interesting cars in the car park like that cater room there so let's have a look let's go this way where we can see 
the railway, get our first view of the railway. So there we are, there's the railway station, see the footbridge, everything. So look, it says Kinver and West Midland Society of Model Engineers. The railway runs every Sunday, I believe, from Easter to the end of October. So if you want to come along, come along one, one Sunday when we get to here. So that must be, that's the engine sheds down there. As I said, there's this uh, footbridge here. It looks like what happens, you've got to go over the footbridge, get tickets, come back down, and then you get on the train just down there. So let's go over the footbridge, we'll have a look. There's also, here's to be, I don't know if it's running today, but a ground level track. So we've got a race track, I think three and a half inch and five inch gauge railway. So we'll, thank you. Make our way up here. If we go up here, we can just see the train going out underneath us. Oh, I see, look, that, that train there is going on shed by the looks of it, so they're going to have to move the track, being a race track, and it'll go up the branch up there to the shed. What I'm going to do is find my way round here. We're going to go down into the middle. We can have a look at the ground level seven and a quarter inch track. See the site from here quite well from up on the bridge. And uh, we're going to make our way down. You can see it's quite busy. There's a lot of people queuing up to get on the train. So that's what I've got to do next. I've got to buy my ticket and then I'll queue up. You can see me better now. The sun is very bright. It's that typical autumn sun. Make our way down here. And that's where I'm going to buy my ticket. Looks like they also do teas, which is quite nice. Oh, look at this. There's a steam loco. Looks like a big Indian narrow gauge steam loco. So hopefully get a ride behind that. So what I wanted to show you before we had a ride on the train. You can see there's raised track and the raised track seems wherever you look there's a bit of a raised track. I think it goes off over there, disappears off around there from what I remember and then it goes that's it goes right around us around here and then this is like the final loop around there to the station. Confusing I know but hopefully when we have the ride you'll understand a bit more what I'm talking about and then as for the ground level track, it's it's quite a lot shorter, but it's seven and a quarter inch. Doesn't appear to be running, so quite a lot shorter than the race track. And it seems to start over there. And it runs to just here, goes in a loop around there, and it could do a continuous circle and then back to the station. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and buy my ticket and we're gonna go for a ride on the high level track.
holiday. So after doing a bit of line siding, I got myself another ticket. I'm gonna go and have a ride, hopefully on the steam train this time.
had a good couple of rides on the railway behind the class 22 down there which is just about to depart and the Indian steam loco that really was something different that's what I like especially about these model engineering societies miniature railways you just don't know what you're going to get usually until you get there you know it can be literally anything the um, class 22 is just departing there it goes over there we'll go down and we'll have a look see what else we can see I've done a fair bit of line siding so I'm quite happy with what I've seen this afternoon now it's towards the end of the day there's not many people in this picnic area when I arrived it was pretty busy so what we'll do I just want to see that Indian steam loco go past one more time and then I think that'll be it for today's video so if you're ever out this way like I say they run I think it's um, a Sunday afternoon between Easter and the end of October do come and visit them and as I did you could also go up to the Kinver Edge rock houses there's a lot of nice walks you can do if you go right up on I didn't have time to do it today but if you go right up to the top of Kinver Edge you get fantastic views for miles and miles around so do you know if you're coming here do consider doing that I can just hear that steam loco we're going to finish by seeing it go right around here almost a bit like being in India because in India you know you get railways like Darjeeling I know this isn't from Darjeeling but they have lots of curves and that's exactly what we're going to get now She's just coming. I'm going to see her go right the way around. Oh, I think that's a brilliant logo. The real one must be massive because she'd be, you know, should be bigger probably than most of our Pacifics because she's, I know she's got outside frames and I think she was a two, was she a two, um, eight, four, I think? She's a big loco. And this is just in five inch and she's pretty big. So we're going to see her go past one more time and then that'll be the end of today's video. And I think also that class 22's going to come past. That's what I like about the race track. You've got so many tracks everywhere you look. It's just tracks. Anyway, let's see it go past again. And as the uh, Class 22 disappears off, Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the Kinver and West Midlands Model Engineering Society for a great afternoon. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.